Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Happy Hump Day, and happy 1st of May. May is going to be a Color Along collaboration called Dive Into Dover Spark. So it is hashtag Dive Into Dover Spark. And this is a collaboration or a color along between myself and with Donna from Color With Donna. And I will be linking her YouTube channel down below. If you have not already subscribed to her or you're not familiar with her, go ahead and check out her channel. She will be doing um, all color alongs um, from these books too. And she already has her video out in regard to this uh, collaboration from the Dover Spark books that we are going to be doing for the month of May. She also has a Facebook group and it again is called Color with Donna where we will be posting all of our pictures that we color out of these spark books um, on all your social media. Remember to include the hashtag if you are coloring from one of these books and want to show your pictures then we can kind of keep track of everybody that's participating in this color along and we can look at your pictures. So that's what this month is going to be all about. I do have a number of the uh, Dover Spark books. They are, as the name implies, made by Dover. But you know that they're a Spark book because up here in the corner it does say Dover Spark. Now these Spark books are supposedly geared towards children. Specifically, they state between the ages of 6 and 10. Yeah, unless you have a very advanced 6 to 10 year old regarding coloring, I don't know. Specific, I mean, especially 6, 7 year olds, I cannot imagine them coloring <laughs> a lot of these images because some of these get very detailed. And to me, they are better suited to older uh, people like us, us colorists. Um, so yeah, these books are just adorable. I know Donna did flip throughs of the uh, Dover Spark books that she has. So I am going to do the same thing. And I will link these all down below in case you want to purchase one of these books and color along with us. I have some of the same books um, as Donna, I know she has this one and, um, this one for sure. And then she has some different ones that I don't have and vice versa. So again, go check out her channel and her intro video that she just put up, um, earlier this morning, um, and check out the books that she has. Okay, let's do some flip throughs of these spark books that I have. You know me and my mandalas and design, so I had to get the mandalas book, right? So I have a number of pictures already tabbed, as you can say, <laughs> throughout all of these books. So just some pictures I picked out that I would like to do. I'm definitely not going to get to all of these. And both Don and I, this is not the only thing that we're going to be doing for the entire month of May, of course. I'm going to be coloring other pictures. I'm going to be doing other reviews, um, you know, things like that, that I normally do on my channel. So, yeah, don't think that it's just going to be uh, the Dover Spark books because it won't, but we will be focusing on these books. This particular book is by Jessica, and I'm going to butcher this, Mazurkowitz, Mazurkowitz, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> and I already did color a number of pictures out of here, of course. This is on your typical Creative Haven paper, which is really nice. It's not your thinner Amazon paper, and every page is nicely perforated. Okay, so let's look at these pretty mandalas. Again, I have colored a number of them in. 
Now, can you see a six-year-old coloring this? Just wait till you see some of the other books, too. It's like, wow. I don't think so. Maybe 10, 11, and up. But I wouldn't say under 10-year-olds. Yeah, the one I colored. I'm not going to go real slow through these flip-throughs. Um, just kind of to give you an idea of what each book is about. In case you would like to purchase one so you can color along. You can either color the same picture that we're coloring or something different. Doesn't have to be the same book. Matter of fact, it doesn't even have to be a Dover Spark book as you're, you're coloring and listening to us talk. You can be doing whatever flips your boat, <laughs> whether it be coloring, diamond painting. Oh, here's one that uh, my granddaughter had to color. She's two. Yeah, she had to color in Grandma's book, too. Yeah, so I have a Maddie's coloring in here. <laughs> Mm. She likes to make pretties, too. There are, I believe, 25 images in each of these books. And the very last page is always a draw your own um, page. So in this case, it's draw your own mandalas. I don't know about you, but I do not draw. So uh, this would probably be a testing my color mediums page, or if you want to test out some color combinations or whatever, you could test them out on this page then. Then at the very back of the book, it talks about free coloring pages, puzzles, crafts, and more. Um, talks about um, signing up at doverpublications.com slash family fun. So you can check that out too. So that is the end of, oh, this one has 30 uh, designs. I was wrong. I thought they all contained 25, but I guess not. So here is the back cover. All these books are $5.99, which I think is a great value with them being on nicer paper and the amount of images you get. Um, the next one I have is the Butterflies Coloring Book. And you know me and butterflies, too. Again, this is by Jessica Mazurkowitz. <laughs> I'm going to butcher that every single time. So, all up butterflies. I may try my chameleon markers in this book. Because with them being single-sided, of course, we can use our alcohol markers which is probably the vast majority of what I'm going to use throughout this month to color in these books is going to be either my alcohol markers or my glitter gel pens. I may use some of my water-based markers, um, but I think that's probably going to be it. If there is any type of marker or something you would like to see me color with and you believe that I do have that coloring medium, by all means, leave me a comment down below and let me know that. And I will do my best to accommodate that. If you're not sure if I have that uh, coloring medium, that kind of marker, that kind of pencil or gel pen or what have you, just go ahead and ask, and I will let you know. Maybe there's a particular book you would like me to color out of. I do have two more of these coming today. So I will do flip-throughs of those when I get them. Here's one I thought would look really pretty with my chameleon marker, so I was thinking of trying that out on this page. If there is a specific picture within any of these books, you can let 
me or Donna know that, that you would like us to color that picture. Um, just kind of describe the picture in the specific book. And we would do our best to go ahead and color that picture for you and maybe you would want to then color along. Here again is your draw your own page. Not for me. And here again is the same information with the Family Fun website. Okay, so that is the Butterflies book. Then is the Flower Fun, and I believe Donna does have this one, and she did a flip through of this particular book also. And this book is by Maggie Swanson. So we will do a quick flip through of this one. Again, same kind of paper, all perforated, single sided. Isn't this cute? I think this is so adorable. I want to color this one too. I don't have this one flagged. I got my flags over here from yesterday when I showed what I colored in the month of <laughs> the month of April. So I <laughs> can use that. But yeah, can you see a six, seven-year-old coloring this? I can't. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, there are some of our adult coloring books that have easier pictures than what a lot of these are in these books. So, look at the kitty hiding in the flowers. But yeah, the vast majority of them are just going to be fun, relaxing pictures. This is one I do want to do also with the cute little bunny and the pretty flowers. Beautiful flowers throughout this book. Cute little birdhouse in the middle. Love these daffodils. Those will be fun to color too. Another one that maybe would be a lot of fun with the chameleons. Or if you don't have the chameleons, just using your alcohol markers that you have and doing the tip-to-tip -tip method. Maybe we'll do some of that, too, in case you guys aren't familiar with what that is. Anne does that a lot over on her channel, um, A Colorful Life. She'll do the tip-to-tip -tip or the kissy-kissy method, as she calls it. Kissy-kissy. <laughs> It's just the chameleon markers do it a little bit easier, um, but it can definitely be done with any kind of alcohol markers that you have, and it does not ruin them in the least. Another draw your own page, and then again, the family fun page. So that is a flower fun coloring book. Then I have the bugs coloring book. There are some of the cutest pictures in here, and they're all such happy bugs. <laughs> this one is by Noelle Dolan. There it is. Is that spelled this name? Yeah, okay. I thought it was spelled differently on the cover. thought there was a boo-boo. Here is the picture from the cover. Isn't that cute? And like I said, they're all such happy bugs. <laughs> Grasshoppers. Look at them pretty butterflies. All kinds of bugs. Lightning bugs. Or fireflies, depending upon where you live and what you call them. The bees. Honeybees. You need more of them around, right? They're kind of disappearing from our planet. Oh, mosquitoes. But even the mosquitoes are happy. <laughs> There's ants munching away on your picnic food. 
Pretty butterflies. This would be a great page to test out some color combos. <laughs> Happy worms. Happy butterflies. Aren't they cute? Even the praying mantises are happy. Happy caterpillars. Or maybe that's centipedes. <laughs> Not sure. Or happy ants. <laughs> See, they're all happy at spring, too. Even happy spiders. I wouldn't be happy if I seen these. <laughs> mm. I am not a spider person. I don't mind bugs. I don't even mind snakes. Show me spiders. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Pretty dragonfly. And some more bugs. Flying ladybugs. Butterflies. Here's another one I thought would be really fun to color. Lunar moth. Some more bugs. Some more moths. Some more grasshoppers. And then the draw your own bug design page. And here it talks about... Um, coloring and activity books again at doverpublications.com you can download some free sample pages and activities or enter a dover coloring contest so you can go ahead and check them out so again there were 30 designs in this bugs coloring book on to the next one is sea life designs and this book again is by maggie swanson same paper, uh, all perforated, and this is, as the name implies, all sea life pictures. And I thought, oh, we could color this coral and fish and whatever color flips our boat at the time because you can, I mean, coral is all brightly colored in some fish and the anemones and all of that. So, look at that cute turtle. More fish and starfish. Look at the seals. <sighs> Looks like a Finding Nemo fish. <laughs> Crab. I thought this would be a fun one to color. Looks kind of like a lionfish, but you could, I'm going to color it whatever bright colors I want to color it. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Another one you could just color so bright. A lot of clamshells and starfish. Look at that one. I love that one too. Kind of reminds me of um, the manatee book that I did a review and a color and chat on. Uh, another manatee in here. They're so adorable. Some more fish. Octopus. Struck gold. Be nice to find that on the bottom of the ocean, wouldn't it? Dolphins. All the boats. Look at these guys. Otters are so adorable. So cute. All the jellyfish. Seahorses. Love seahorses, too. I think they are so adorable, too. Here's some more fish you could color each one really bright. Walrus. Here's another busier picture. Now, again, I cannot picture a small child coloring this page. <laughs> I really can't. Even my 11-year-old grandson would have a hard time with this page. So, yeah, I don't think so. It kind of looks like a yin and yang picture. Lobster. My turtles. Yeah, they're octopus. 
Delphians or porpoises. Is there a difference between a dolphin and a porpoise? I know there probably is. To me, I've always kind of used the name interchangeably. Look at the cute penguins. Now, looks like a killer whale, a shark. I mean, it looks like a kind of combination of things in this picture. Stingray, bunch of fish. Platypus. Ain't <laughs> he cute too? They are a strange looking creature, aren't they? An aquatic duck is what they look like. And a draw your own again. And the Dover Publications website. So that is the Sea Life Designs coloring book. The last one I have, which I know Donna does have, and I know this is one of her favorite books, and it is so cute. It's called Circles of Fun Animals, and this is again by Maggie Swanson, and I definitely want to color a page or two out of this book during the month. Everything is, as the name implies, in circle format. So you have your giraffes and flamingos and little hippo. Same kind of paper it is perforated. I do love the paper in both these books and the Creative Haven books. It, it is just such nice paper. And for the amount that they charge for these books, I mean, it is such a good deal. For $5.99, you're getting 25 to 30 images on nice paper. Um, the Creative Haven books, too. I mean, they're just, they're a fantastic value. Look at the monkeys. Little mousies. That's another one I might want to do this month. Let me get another tab here. Like that is cute. The lambs. Are you able to see this? Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Look at the kittens. They always have like a combination of a number of different animals throughout the picture. This is a cute one too. The deer and the bunnies. <laughs> Look at the piggies. The kitty and the cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> it's adorable too. <clears throat> Tigers and elephants and monkeys. Oh my. <laughs> That's why I said they always kind of include different animals within the same picture. We got the chipmunk, the squirrel, the birds. Kangaroos and ostriches and bunnies. They really don't have much to, you know, to tie them together, but this looks like one of the books out of the Sea Life that I just showed you. Look at the puppies. Panda bears. Oh, my favorite wild animal out of them all. I love the panda bears. I'm, yeah, panda bear. Right. Duh. And lemurs, they're cute too. Camel. I know some of you, there's a lot of you owl lovers out there. Koala bears, they're so adorable too. So many cute, adorable animals. I thought this would be a fun one to color, so I may do this one. Kitty cat sleeping on the back of the horse. I thought this was another cute one with the baby hippos. <laughs> Chickens and roosters and ducks. Oh my. Okay, I'll stop now. Some more. Are those otters? I think. Happy frog. <laughs> cute zebra giraffes. Bear family holding a teddy bear. Isn't that cute? 
<laughs> or there's a teddy bear. That must be the baby, huh? There's the teddy bear. The baby's holding the teddy bear. That's it. Some birds. And then some beavers. All kinds of different ones. Seals and bears. Oh, we even got skunks in this one. And then draw your favorite animal. This one they give you, at least to give you a cute border to color in. Then maybe if you had a picture you wanted to paste in here from another book, from a magazine, you could do that too. And then again, the same info on the back page, specifying the doverpublications.com website. So that is all of my Dover Spark coloring books. I will be starting or doing, I should say, a color along shortly. And um, the very first color along I'm going to do will be out of this Mandela's book. Um, because it's just a simple, fun book to color out of. So yeah, we'll do that one first. Um, and again... It is Dive into Dover Spark for the month of May with Donna from Color with Donna. And be sure to check out her Facebook group. I will link her Facebook group and her YouTube channel down below so you can go and check out her social media. And again, I will link all of these books down below in case you want to purchase one and color along with us. I hope everybody's having a terrific middle of the week, and uh, I hope we're going to have a lot of fun during the month of May. And um, let's see, what else? I think that's all I needed to mention about this. Um, yeah, yeah, so um, we shall uh, see how many pictures we get through during the month of May. So as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.